Hi everybody, this is Bob with another Logic Pro 10 tutorial. In this video, we're going to take a look at adding white noise to your snare sound to enhance a little bit, give it a little bit more presence. Let's take a look at this um, drum loop I have here. So we're going to add some white noise to that snare sound to give it a little bit more presence and enhance it a bit. I'm going to add a couple of software instrument tracks here. Let's change this to two. And on this first one, I'm just going to make a duplicate of my drum loop here by holding down the Option key and just drag this region down here. And now I have an exact duplicate here. So now I'm going to go back up to the drum kit. Let me solo that, pull up in the uh, piano roll for that. I want to find the snare sound. Let's find out which note is triggering the snare. Okay, looks like it's this note right here, which is E1. So what we want to do with this track now is eliminate all of the notes except for the note that triggers the snare. So we'll open up the piano roll select E1, make sure they're all selected there. Uh, I want to do an invert selection. Two different ways you can do that. You can come over here and hit um, select, invert selection, or you can hit the um, shift I. We'll do the same thing. Now we've selected everything other than the snare note or the, everything other than E1. I can just hit the delete key now and that's all that's left. That's what I'm looking for on this track because it's going to be my trigger track or track that I use to trigger. It's my trigger notes, if you will, to trigger a side chain on a noise gate. So let's just call this, uh, how about that side chain? Let's play this side chain track here. You don't hear anything, right? Because we don't have any instrument assigned to that. So what instrument do I want to assign to that? How about the Cliffgeist? All right, I'm going to change it from factory default to impulse one. And now let's turn it down and have a listen. You probably recognize that sound as the metronome in Logic Pro. This is the instrument that they use for that. Um, this is a nice instrument for that to use for sidechain because um, it's a fast attack, fast release, and uh, it just it's going to work just fine for that. Now, I do not want to hear this uh, clicking noise or this metronome kind of sound, right? So I'm going to assign this instead of stereo out. I'm going to send it to a bus. We'll send it to the next available bus, which is bus 4. Now if I come over here to my mixer and I look at bus 4, uh, we'll just label this side chain as well. And notice it's still playing because the bus 4, the output is the stereo out. I need to reassign that to no output. Now I play it. I have a signal here on the bus, but I don't hear it. It's exactly what I want. Now let's go to my second software instrument track here and let's just rename it White Noise. Now I don't remember this being in earlier versions of Logic, but I'm going to go over here to the instruments and there's a test oscillator here. Uh, let me do one thing here. Pull that volume down. I'm going to go down here and select the test oscillator. Let me shut that off for now. So I've changed this to white noise. Here's There's the white noise sound. Okay. So I'll leave that off for now. And then I need to come over here to the uh, effects plugins and I'm going to add a noise gate. So here's my noise gate and it's going to control this white noise here. So let me um, just pull the attack and they hold the release down 
turn the white noise back on and adjust the threshold and there you see my activity here. okay let me just turn this white noise off okay now I want to come over here to the um, to the noise gate and I want bus 4 remember we sent this snare hits out to bus 4 so bus 4 is going to control the noise gate so let me hit play on this and turn this back on and notice now every time this snare hits on this side chain track my white noise comes through okay now you can play with the attack and the hold the rip, but I know it's the release is what I'm looking for. I want it to, to be a little bit longer here. So you hear that starting to sound a little bit like a like a snare hit. And that's all I'm going for. It's just something that's um, that coincides with the snare hit and adds a little bit of presence to this uh, beat here. So let's let's mix it a little bit. So I'm going to turn the white noise off now. So that may have been a little bit much. Here it is back on. Pulled it down a little bit. Back off. Back on. The other thing you can do is play with some of these uh, the other noises here. Pink noise. Let's see what that sounds like. I'll turn the drum kit off. This is pink noise. It's a little bit darker. Try the white noise again. Listen to the pink noise in the context of the mix. And I'll put the white noise on. Here's another thing you might want to experiment with. Um, let's listen to, I'm going to pull this down to a, uh, about 80 or so hertz and put the sine wave on and take a listen here. Now this might be great for your bass drum. So let's just check that out real quick. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to delete this snare and we're going to take this make another copy real quick pull it down here open up the piano roll i'm selecting um, the note here is c1 select them do an invert select and then hit delete and now that's all my that's my kick drum right there and let's see what that sounds like so what we're doing now is we're using the uh, the trigger notes here and we're activating the sine wave with this um, with this noise gate here, and my sine wave frequency here is at 56. I'm going to experiment with that a little bit. So if you want to see how that sounds like with your drum kit, here's without it. Back on. Now, if you wanted that to be a little bit more sub, sub bass, see what that sounds like with the drums. Here it is without it. So this is a great way for you to use the test oscillator with white noise or pink noise to enhance your snare sound or use the sine wave to fatten up a kick drum. Thanks for watching the video. Please comment and subscribe and until next time.